I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Lane fields it at the one. And he's tackled at the 23. Texas A&M's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brad, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Quick throw out to the receiver. Loose football, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. They got a little sloppy here with their ball handling. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 45. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Run left side. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Down the 39 yard line. Simon makes the set call at the 39 yard line. Third down. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 39. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 31 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. That's a game of ten. Here's play number ten on the drive. He's tackled around the one-yard line. It's first down. So inside the five with a first and goal. They're packed in tight on the line. They go to the fullback, and he'll be brought down behind the line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. down and he's going to get sacked. Third down now and goal to go. Ball on the three. Coming to you, coming to you. 
Touchdown AM. No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. And he adds the extra point. A 13-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Looks to the back and can't connect. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. At about the 39-yard line. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. Quick out to his receiver. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. From the 39-yard line, first down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That makes it second and six. Just throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. yard line from the 16 yard line first down slings it a huge play and now they're in a great position to score one quarter of play and we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands so the Aggies with a touchdown lead back to the action now here in the second quarter quick strike tight end and that's a touchdown be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 74 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. They line up to kick this one away. 
and he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Here we go. Going right to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 26-yard line. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. He wants it all. That close to being intercepted. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. And he just got stood up right there. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's under some heat. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. Second down, six to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. Under pressure, and he throws it away. From the 20 yard line, it's second down. Nice run there. Williams gets about four yards on the play. That makes it third and seven. is out to the tailback on the screen. The five. Touchdown, Irish. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kurt. 
They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs is not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star player is not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Scrambling around. And he is drilled at the 26. That brings up second and nine. Now he's scrambling. Fumble! Defense has it. It's the linebacker. He's got the corner. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Uh, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense. And right now, it's really paying off. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Notre Dame is up by a touchdown. Fires across the middle. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. He's scrambling. They bring him down. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. Fires complete over the middle. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And for Mayer, he's got another touchdown catch, his second. This guy is a great target in the passing game. You can see why the quarterback loves getting in the ball. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense was infected by the turnover bug their last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. That's a great tackle. At the 33-yard line, Texas A&M will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made right around the 46 yard line. Right makes the tackle at the 46 yard line. First down. Four down, four down. Nice, nice 40, nice 40. Hazard, 180. Wide, 80. Gets it out quickly. He's knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Up the middle and he's stuffed. 
And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. Bounds around the 16 yard line. That's a game of 11 in the ball. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He makes it out to maybe the 16 yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Kicks up, and it's good. Davis has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Notre Dame's right now in the driver's seat, it looks like, after that slow start. Well, I've been impressed with the way these guys have been able to come out, hitting on all cylinders these last few series. We'll see if they can maintain that, because it looks like it's going to be a long football game, and they're going to need more points. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing, how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That one's more than good enough for the first half. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Incomplete. So we played two quarters. The Fighting Irish lead, 21-10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. It is my job to come in and rain on a parade. I know, parade. Every, I know everything's gone right. I know they have all the momentum. I know that every little detail of the game plan has gone exactly as scripted. But, but, <laughs> overconfidence, too happy, too satisfied. How big a problem is that in the second half? But you always you always have the excitement coming into the first half of a ball game, and you think it's going to be close when teams like this are evenly matched. But that doesn't mean you can lose your edge. That doesn't mean you can get complacent. A lot of times we see passion and energy in the first half, and it starts to wither away. they got to make sure that they keep the energy up, continue to make plays. Don't think that, you, that you're there because we've seen momentum switch like that. As soon as somebody flips a switch, it's hard to get it going back in the other direction. So you got to take advantage of these opportunities. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Five wide. He steps out at the 30. Three yards there on the play. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. That was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. Second down of seven coming up here. 
Ball on the 30-yard line. It's the tailback. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. at the 49-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. Now he tries to buy some time. There he goes. He's tackled around the 31-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Slings it out there. Tight end's got another one. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 18. He might not be able to get the pass off. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. From the 14-yard line, third down. quickly and he's got his man a huge play and now they're in a great position to score and this is the ninth play of the current drive tackle after a decent pickup that brings him second and goal it's second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And for Williams, he scores his second catch for six. Well, it can really throw a wrench into a defensive scheme when you've got a back who's as good a receiver as this young man is. And he tacks on the extra point. Notre Dame kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes around the 33-yard line. From their own 33 yard line. Second down. Here we go. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. Right, right, right. 
Zips it to the back. And he's taken down at about the 45. That brings up second and nine. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Going back to his running back. He's at the 40. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. The 37-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. That makes it second and two. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. it to the middle of the field, brought down at the 10-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 10-yard line, first down. One more quarter to play. Notre Dame's up by 18. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. This is the tenth play of this drive. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. He's tackled after positive yardage. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Touchdown, Aggies! So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Caught it, and the conversion is good. Texas A&M is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Under heavy pressure, quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. So 
after the big pass play. We've got a first down. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. And he's tackled right away. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. What more can we say about this guy? Five touchdowns on the day. Simply an unbelievable display of passing that we've seen today. And he adds the extra point. So a fourth play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Notre Dame is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 37. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Second and seven. Ball on the 40. Just under three to go in regulation. Slings it. He's brought down in the open field. That makes it first and ten. Here we go. Check, check. Regular, regular, regular. He's going to try and scramble. He has some room. And he tackles him hard at the 33. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Strike to his receiver, no good. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle around the 30-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Smith, the ball carrier. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Regular, regular, regular. Not over here. Let's go. Red, Great 
great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. It's the 11th play of the drive. Just over a minute left. Ready. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Brad, I thought the quarterback put the ball there where it could have been caught. The receiver's got to do a better job of fighting for the football. When that ball is up in the air and it's between a defender and a receiver, I think the receiver's got to show more effort and a willingness to fight for the football. The safety just knocked that ball away from him. Fires it out. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. And he's level at the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. And this is the 14th play of the drive. to the wide out and he can't pull it in. We've got second and goal. Ball on the six yard line. He's tackled at the four yard line. So the Aggies will use their first time out of the half. And this is the 16th play of the drive. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Well, there's still life. I don't see a comeback on the horizon, but there isn't any question they'll be seeing an onside kick. And he converts the extra point. at the 41. The offense now will take the field and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Makes it out to about the 33. A nice job by the offensive line and they pick up a gain of eight. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Under a minute left. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is make a nice, short tackle on the ball here. Taken down in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard on the way. Entertaining shootout. Notre Dame, 35. Texas A&M, 25. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.